Well, the housing market is hot, hot, hot right now. And with Mark Lampkin with Lampkin Wealth Management, we're here at Champion Sales and Lease, one of your other businesses. You may need this furniture That's once right. you finally get that, that house, home. You need this furniture right here. That's right. <laughs> we talk about the housing market being so hot right now, but I think there is not even a word of warning, but tips that you can offer first time home buyers. And I hear a lot, Mark, about this 28, like 36. What does that mean? So 2836, you need to remember that as a first time home buyer, 28% of your gross monthly income should be your house payment or below. You shouldn't go over that. And 36%, that mortgage balance should not be more than 36% more than your total debt. So the first thing about buying a home is understanding what you can afford. Mm -hmm. And trust me, these last seven weeks, Claudia, these mortgage rates have went from Good about job. three and a half to five and a half. Yeah. I've never seen that in 32 years, never. So make sure you go back and redo that calculation if you did it a month ago, because yeah. if you've not closed on something, you might be priced out of that price range. You don't want that shock when that first no. thing comes in. <laughs> That's you're like, right. this is not what I banked Or if you have an adjustable mortgage, right. these things can oh, be popped man. up. Right, definitely. Well, let's talk about closing costs and, and the number of programs that are out there to help with closing costs. Yeah, you know, I was looking at that this morning. The state of Kentucky has about six different programs that can help with closing costs and down mm -hmm. payments and mm -hmm. certain mortgages that have very low rates. So make sure you check on that. City of Louisville also has a couple as well. The average closing cost out there should be about 3,500 bucks. Mm. And if it's much higher than that, or even at that, make lenders compete. Mm. Don't, don't just go to one lender and take that as the gospel because they're on commission and they need to sell you that higher rate to get paid more. Uh, and I'm not saying every lender's bad or every right. lender's good, but make Again, them compete. I think getting different advice yeah. from people is, is always good. Roughly 5% right now mm. is the rate that you're gonna get. There's a lot of lenders out there at five and a half percent. Um, they're going to look for uh, down payment. Can you? How much can you put down? If you put down more than 20%, you don't have that PMI, premium mortgage insurance, that, that charges you extra. Yeah. So if you don't have that, that can be going to principal. So just take your time right now. There's 15, 20 different bids on a cute little house right now. I was now. gonna say, I feel like patience is the name of the game. I think people hear about the market and they get nervous that I gotta hurry and, and get in there and get it. That's right. Yeah. And I mean, I'm hearing uh, my son-in-law and daughter just yeah. sold a house. 20,000 over appraisal. Mm -hmm. So these things are, uh, houses are so hot right now. 200 more houses went on the market last month and the month oh, before, and that's wow. because rates went up. Mm -hmm. So take your time. This is gonna slow down a little bit. Don't get into a bidding war and let, I mean, if you love the house, fine. But I'm telling you, these prices are gonna be coming back down. Right. So make sure you take your time, be patient, be patient. get a good rate, look at all that's out there get mm -hmm. the best rate you can find the best programs too you got it there's that's absolutely there. there's a ton out there and if they need more or you just have a question go to my website and email me if you're a great day live watcher i'm happy happy to answer that for you and your staff and and all the viewers that are out there all right if you want to catch up with mark just go to lampkinwealth.com